So guys, welcome to episode 2 of Myth Busting on my channel. This is the multiplayer edition, but without further ado, let's get into the first myth of today's episode. Now this is, can you use the RCXD in water, and can you wall run with an RCXD? So obviously the way this is going to work, we're going to jump into a game. We have got an RCXD and we have got an care package, but let's just focus on the RCXD. So we whip it out, and then we're going to go and drive to a wall run spot. Now there's one on the left side of the map. So as you can see here, we're having to navigate our whole way through the map, trying not to get it destroyed by the enemy. Now you'll see here that on the left when we just approach this corner there is a lot of space to wall run. Now we can obviously jump by holding X with the RCXD and yes you can indeed wall run with an RCXD. Now I never thought this would work however in theory I guess it is a hovercraft so hence you can jump and hence you can wall run guys. So if you did enjoy this myth guys be sure to leave me a big thumbs up and it will pop up on screen very soon. But yeah, look at that. That was a bit of a crazy wall run by the RCXD there. So yes, guys, you can wall run with an RCXD. Now, let's move on to the second part of this myth is, can it be destroyed in water or can you actually use it underwater? Now, you'll see here, I'm trying to go underwater. I can't do it. So I think, I know, I'll boost underwater and boom. As soon as I go underwater, it is destroyed. So you can't use an RCXD underwater. Now, let's move on to myth number two. Now, this is, can you destroy your own sentry gun with a care package? Now, it makes a lot of sense because you can destroy your own sentry guns and obviously if something heavy like a care package landed the velocity would obviously in real life come and destroy the sentry gun but you know we thought let's try it out let's see if it actually works in game so we, you can see there I have a sentry gun out I call in my care package I move the sentry gun to right directly beneath the where the care package is going to land and you'll see here it's coming into land right now and boom it hits the sentry gun and bounces off it makes no sense the care package didn't even damage it so yeah that myth has been busted guys so guys let's move on to myth number three now this is probably my favorite myth of today's episode as always and it is can you hold your breath underwater for longer if you have a sniper out and you're holding your breath in the sniper? So there's obviously one way to find out and that's to go and test it. So you see here we are going to jump on this map right here, can't remember what it's called but anyway. We're going to whip out the RK5 and we're just going to jump in the water and we're going to time how long it actually takes for us to die. So you see here I'm in the water, I'm not holding my breath with the sniper and we've obviously got the start point. I'm going to come here, I'm going to stay under this thing just in case I float to the top. Now you'll see it's taken a fair while for us to actually die and it's not as good as on zombies as obviously you can get jug and you can hold your breath for longer. But you'll see here we start dying here and boom we die. The, the actual time it took was 16.4 seconds. Now this time we're going to use the sniper and we're going to hold our breath underwater. Now I'm expecting it to last a little bit longer, maybe two or seconds or something like that, but not too long. So you see here we jump in the water, the air bubbles come up and we then hold our breath underwater. We go to the same location where we, were, where we was before and you can see we're kind of zoomed in on a rock and we're getting a few hit markers from our trip mines or something else like that. Now it seems to be taking a bit longer but in actual fact you'll see right here when we do die, it didn't take that much longer, only about 0 0.44, 0 0.48 seconds more. So that myth has been busted guys. In effect, I guess you could say it was my dodgy timing that led to the time difference and that's what I'm going to go with. However, you might want to interpret it that actually you can hold your breath underwater for longer if you have a sniper. But I hope you did enjoy today's episode guys. If you did, it would be awesome if you could leave a like down below and show your appreciation. Leave some myths for me to bust next week. And if you feel like it, go and check out last week's episode and check out my zombies myth busting uh, series. I mean these videos come out every Sunday for multiplayer and every Saturday for zombies So yeah, if you did enjoy leave a like and I will catch you in my next video Let me know what videos you want to see. I hope you enjoyed this one and yeah, thank you very much for watching